my beautiful bride <laughs> to be. Before I spill my guts to her, would y'all like to hear the uncut, uncensored not real. story of how she broke her right foot? <laughs> I would, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sierra was there for my first date with my now husband and I was there for her first date with Warren. Both first dates also happened to be in Davis Wade Stadium. While these stories sound identical, there are a few differences. To begin with, I knew that I was on my first date with Ben. Sierra did not know she was on her first date with Warren. You know, poor Sierra, he tricks her into going to a ball game and says, oh, on his way up, Oh, well, we just happened to be sitting with my parents. Well, the moment I met her, I fell in love with her. And every time he'd come home, I'd say, well, what about you and, what about you and Sierra? And he'd say, oh, we're just friends. And I'd call my friends and I'd call my sister and say, damn it. He keeps saying, <laughs> we're just friends. You know, when is this going to evolve? And Mary Frances would always tell me, Oh, friendship. I mean, that's just the best way to start. And I was like, you're crazy. You know? But when he told me one weekend he'd come to Clarksdale and he had to leave because he was going to Starkville on his way to New Orleans because it was her birthday and he wanted to surprise her. And I said, hey, ain't no friend. <laughs> Beautiful. Love you. To be loved but not known is comforting, but it's superficial, it's shallow. To be known but not loved is our greatest fear. But to be fully known and truly loved is what we need more than anything else. Stare out here and all these people. You're known and you're loved. And I want you to remember this in those times when difficulty comes. It's not always a good hair day. Sometimes we're wearing a boot underneath the dress. That's the, the nature of life. But one of the things we discovered during our time together is that you all know each other and you love each other. In the name of God. I, Warren, take you, Sierra. I, Sierra, take you, Warren. To be my wife. To be my husband. To have and to hold. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Till we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. for bed I was laying in bed she comes in the room and she's moonwalking 
<laughs> I've got so much energy. Me, me, me. And I'm like, well, I don't care. I'm in bed. I'm going to sleep. Meanwhile, one of our dogs, we have two dogs. We have a big dog and a little dog. The little dog is moaning about a ball under the bed that he can't reach. And Sierra's like, he can't reach it. And I'm like, who cares? I'm going to sleep. And she picks him up, puts him outside the bed. He gets the ball. But then guess what? He's stuck under the bed. He can't get out. So <laughs> Sierra's in the bed, picks up little dog, the 50 pound bulldog. <laughs> kind of, he's a little teacup. He picks him up, stands up in the bed, steps over me, steps off the bed, onto a keyboard that she promises she's going to start learning how to play piano on. <laughs> And then just, I mean, she ate it. <laughs> love like you never grew up and live like you just get one tonight. We're kings and queens. One link and it's over. Wake up and we're older tonight. We're kings and queens. The Warren. Thank you so much for loving my twin like my own. Thank you for being hilarious and constantly keeping her on her toes because she needs that. I truly see Sierra as the best version of herself when she's with you. You make her confidence soar, you keep her happy, you love her daily, and you let her be her. I'm so thankful for you, and I'm so glad she had enough confidence to ask Ben, to ask me, to ask Sierra. She would go on that first day. <laughs> Even, even even through all this hustle and bustle, and x-rays, MRIs, cannot wait to marry you tomorrow. You love my life. I love you so much. I'm going to give you the four greatest children you could ever imagine. <laughs> and with, and with that, I think we should toast Sierra for marrying this curly-headed idiot. <laughs> Warren. You may kiss your bride. <laughs>